Hey. What? What did we just do? What? What did we just do? On a boat. officially starting to move. I'm so excited. We got a sailboat. We're about to move on it. We have no idea what we're doing. We're moving from a townhouse into a tiny sailboat. So I've started packing up in our townhouse in New York and just taking a break, washing some laundry, taking the curtain rods off, um, washing the curtains. I have this tiny little office. I've always worked out of the closet at my townhouse. Um, so we're gonna back up the computer, pack all this stuff up here. The good thing is, is that my sister lives in Florida where we're, our boat is gonna be docked for a while until we get it really fixed to where we want to go. So we're gonna be packing up some of our stuff, storing it at her place. So if we ever wanted to pop over and hang out, we have it. So yeah, but it's really starting to get real. I, I don't know how I'm gonna go from all of this to this. Um, I can't, I'm super excited. I know we're both really stoked about it and we're ready. All right. Now with the truck all loaded, we were ready to blow this popsicle stand that was New York and head to sunny Florida where our boat was. But first, we need to stop off in Maryland at my family's house and drop off a bunch of stuff that we knew that was not going to fit on the boat. Then we headed down to Florida where we would unload the rest of the truck off at my sister's house where we'd be staying for the next couple of months getting ready for the boat. We then turned back around and picked up our car and our dogs in Maryland and drove back to Florida. Now you're probably wondering why didn't we just do a one-way trip? Well, we saved $1,300 by dropping the truck off back in Maryland, so we thought it was worth it. After maxing and relaxing at Brandy's sister's house for a couple months, we decided it was finally time to get to the boat. So first we had to pack up the car. Think we can do it? No. <laughs> we can do it. Have confidence. There she is, home. We're, We're finally, finally live aboards. First things first, we had to clear out the cabin of all of the sails in order to make her more liveaboardable.
we sent our name of the boat to a couple of our friends and family and just to see if yeah. they could actually pronounce the name because it's a little tricky it doesn't look anything like the way it's spelled so, so here, here it they is. are <laughs> Ryan? if i were to guess how to say this name it would be Sawirse. Sour Sea. Sour Sea. Yep, their boat's name is Sour Sea. Sour Sea. <laughs> is it Soiree? No, like a Soir Sea? Sarosi? Saoris? Saoris? Sarose. Sarose? Sayoris? Sayor? Hey, the name is pronounced Sersha. Saorse? I don't know. Sayors. Satars? Sour's boat. Is that Aunt Brandy and Uncle Bo's new boat name? What is it, Ricky? Uh, I say boat. The boat. What's the boat name? I say boat. Is it Sour's? Sour's! Sour's the boat! Sour's the boat! <laughs> so the girls think it's Sour's. <laughs> and I think it is, um... Sorise. Looks like sore arse. Sore ass. Ah! Ser serioso. 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 All right. So the, the name, name of the, the boat, boat is Sersha. Sersha.